got this theory about the winner, bro. Um, <laughs> it's called like your winner loves, and I think because um, this happened to me every winter. I don't know about anybody else, but every winter I go through like some like something going through my head where mm-hmm. like I don't know what to do next. Mm-hmm. But then as the spring comes through, everything like start to come into effect, kind of. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I just know what to do next. Like, last year, last year, bro, I was a bioengineer major last year. And, um, going to? University of Toledo. For real? Uh-huh. And I hated it. <laughs> I hated waking up. I would go to trigonometry class at 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's not like I don't value knowledge. But I don't value having to learn something that uh, doesn't pique your interest. Because mm-hmm. everybody different. Everybody like different things. So I was going there, and I wasn't liking anything I was doing. And throughout the whole winter, I was just going to class and like literally dragging myself to class. I, I'm a good student, but I do the least to get by. <laughs> Bro, yeah. you talking to the right nigga. Like, <laughs> Real shit. And man. my mind used to get on my ass about that man. shit. Like I wasn't allowed to have C's, so I had B minuses throughout the entire high school. Mm. My GPA, average GPA was like 3.2. Literally right, right above a C, and um, I was like, you know, I'm just not gonna do this no more. Right when spring came, is where I made that like switch. Was like, yo, know, I'm, I'm gonna start. That's when I first started doing the podcast. Mm-hmm. So it, it was just my phone. <laughs> I just like took a shot in the dark. I was just talking, and uh, I was sitting right here by myself, mm-hmm. and it was just like my phone and like two pillows to stop the reverb and shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, and now. Uh, it just it showed me the right direction, kind of. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I was I was enjoying it, so why why I stop doing it? Well, I like what you said about the winter thing, though. Mm-hmm. I had a um, a little notebook that I said I was gonna start writing all my feelings in, mm-hmm. and I never did. Oh, but do I, it. But I ended up finding the notebook. And I only wrote one thing in there. What's your right? And what it said was, it's some sad depression shit, bro. But I was okay. really it really was sad when I read this shit though, because I was like, damn, like I really wrote this. It said, my summers are becoming my winters. And that scares me because it shows me that now even the weather can change how I feel. Oh, shit. Yeah. Can, can I say something real quick? What's up? You spilled that shit! <laughs> Sorry, oh, I had to kill the vibe. Real but real yeah, shit? When I, oh, when, I, when, I, when I fought that shit, bro, and I seen that that's, that was the only thing I wrote in that book, I was just like, damn, oh, bro, like. That was deep, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. just read, I just watched this. I just read this post my sister posted the other day. It said, um. It said something similar to that. It said, it said, on sunny days, you're happy. Mm-hmm. On rainy days, it said, don't let the days uh, decide how you feel because blissful things can happen on rainy days too. Mm. Something like that. Something in that context. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But I like how you say you was writing because, uh, hold on, let me show you something. These, these notebooks. This is every I, I write every day, <laughs> so That's like dope, bro. this was in this was my first one in college, mm-hmm. like literally like three pages every day. That's dope. Bro. All, all of these like filled and like I still do it to this day. I did it this morning and it's kind of like where you get that tub one from? You remember this one? Yeah, this is my ex girl gave me this. <laughs> Cause I want some shit like that. The book that I was talking about is like that, but it's a smaller version. Cause that just looked like some daily writing type. Hell shit. yeah! And this was like I use this one for just ideas. For real. But like, like this is why I wrote my, wrote my first podcast questions in mm. everything, and then the other ones I was just writing like just. Writing and it's gonna be whatever. so dope, cause when you you know get older, or you know when you when you get into new positions and new, you know new levels. And you go back and read those. It's gonna be like damn. Yeah, like, and I do sometimes. Yeah. Like sometimes, like sometimes it make me cry. I can't mm-hmm. cap, and like, like deep shit like that would come up. And mm-hmm. all right, and um, you would be writing, and sometimes things would surface that you didn't even know you felt. Mm-hmm. And you could like you you will see the tear marks <laughs> over mm-hmm. my words and like the ink, like and it make you think. Cause sometimes oh, that's 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 dope. Yeah, sometimes that, that remind me of this picture I seen on Instagram where it said like, "Dear God." And it was a white paper with, with nothing but like tears on it. Yeah. And, oh, and I, I kind of feel like in a sense I do that in my music. Mm-hmm. You know, like it allows me to capture, you know, how I was feeling at that time. And when, I, when I'm out of that situation, I go back and look. It's like, damn, nigga, you was really stuck on that shit, huh? Like, you was really sad as hell when you was making <laughs> yeah. that shit, huh? Because that shit lasts forever yeah. after you make it. Yeah. It'll... I definitely think it's beautiful to like capture, you know, like where you at. Yeah, definitely. So I, I probably should start like writing more. 
I, I literally like documenting. I want to document more, document more videos mm. and like start picking up the camera more with vlogging and shit. Because mm. a lot of things happen in my life that I don't record and I'm, I kind of get sick about it sometimes. Because mm. that's just like moments that's like, like I make a skit and stuff every once in a while, mm. but I'm talking about when I go out and do something, like I'll go to Cedar Point or something. And like not, now, it's just like a memory in my head when I can actually watch what happened. Mm. And it's, it's a different feeling, definitely.